Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you see a ball, <laughs> I just gave that to you. My husband's laying on the floor. He didn't want to move. I just gave you that ball. Oh my god, okay, he's just throwing things. So excuse that. He doesn't want to move anywhere. I wanted to take a break from the vlogging for a little bit. I mean, I have a vlog that I never, that I didn't finish. <laughs> like, I didn't finish that other one. I have another, like, footage for another vlog. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna post it yet, but I thought I'd film this video in the meantime Just that way I can give you a little something so I can see my cute face. Um, but yeah, so we went to JCPenney Don't be rude <laughs> We went to JCPenney to go get JJ some clothes because he grows out of his clothes very quickly He is 10 months. He just turned 10 months on Monday. Today is Thursday So he turned 10 months on Monday and he is growing out of his 9 month clothes So we needed to go get him 12 month clothes he was kind of in between where the nine month would still fit him and the 12 month fit him pretty big, but we would still put some on him. Um, but now it's getting to the point where like he needs 12 month clothes. JJ's always been ahead. I know Amadeus, my sister, tells me that he's always been pretty on track. I mean, he's only four months, but when he was a newborn and then he used zero to three, three, zero to six. But no, JJ's always been ahead. I think he was in newborn clothes maybe like what, three weeks, babe? Yeah, maybe like three weeks and then he used zero to three months for like a couple months and then he jumped to like three to six. I don't even think he used three months. Like he used the clothes that we got from like the baby shower and stuff, but he jumped pretty much straight to three to six. And well, anyway, he's just has always been ahead. So now he's 10 months and he's using 12 month clothes. So we try not to buy him too much just because he does grow out of it so fast. And we try to, like right now the nine months still fits him, but we're noticing that it's starting to not. So we like to buy ahead of time. Um, that way, you know, it lasts him a little bit longer. And we typically only buy him clothes uh, once we notice he's starting to outgrow it. We don't like to buy him clothes as it goes because then we're like, well, it's not going to fit him. So we just buy him a bunch of clothes at the beginning once we know he's going to start using a new size and then we don't buy clothes for him again until he's at the next size already basically that way the clothes doesn't go to waste and so that way he uses the clothes that he has because i know we got a lot of clothes at the baby shower um like newborn and stuff and he didn't even wear half of it like we gave stuff away with like tags on it because he just grew out of it so fast and he it was so much that he didn't cycle through all of it so we learned our lesson that way so we try not to buy him too much at once really quick before i get into like the actual little i don't even know did i say it was a haul i don't even think i told y'all what <laughs> i'm doing a mini baby haul from jc penny basically i am so sorry i just want to throw this out there beforehand we did not start buying jj baby clothes from like department stores or like a baby store or anything until he started wearing i want to say like six months or nine month clothes um up until he wore that we bought clothes from like a secondhand store not that we were struggling not that we like didn't have any money but it's just babies grow out of their clothes so fast like i said like sometimes he didn't even cycle through everything that he had we didn't see the point and buying him expensive clothes especially when they're newborn you're holding them all the time or they're just like asleep all the time like when are they ever dressed up as newborns i mean i know there's some parents that are like not crazy i don't want to say that but like buy them outfits and actually put them on but we were not like that to like dress him up so we just bought him like onesies obviously the stuff is not like dirty it's not stained it doesn't have holes like obviously they only sell like what's resellable um but we personally just didn't see the point in buying new brand new clothes when he's just gonna poop on it he's just gonna throw up on it he's gonna get breast milk all over it so we just avoided that we bought from it's called once upon a child i don't know if they're local to san antonio or if they're statewide nationwide whatever but it's called once upon a child and they do have and a lot of the times they had like the baby onesies were like this um, they had like buy, what would like buy 10 for like a dollar or no, buy 10 for $10, right? They had, it's they had, I don't know, they just had it super cheap. I know sometimes they had it for like 50 cents for one. Sometimes I had them for a dollar. So it was super cheap. We would just go buy from there and there's no shame in that like there's absolutely no shame in that like i said they're either one not gonna use it they're gonna not have enough they're gonna grow right out of it or they're gonna stain it they're gonna dirty it so why are you gonna spend your money i get it like if you have an event or if you're gonna take them out somewhere you're gonna take them photos you want to get them a kid outfit okay that's fine 
but just for like everyday use like i didn't see the point in wasting money on brand new clothes that he's not gonna wear and you know so we did that so i just want to say like if there are any moms like moms to be out there watching this don't feel ashamed to buy secondhand clothes i mean it's the same thing as a hand-me-down like amadeus we give him so much clothes well he got my sister got a lot from the baby shower when jj grows out of a size before i like give away or donate or whatever the clothes i go through it i send my sister pictures i'm like what do you want from here so it's basically the same thing you're just paying for it so don't feel ashamed don't feel pressure to buy the newest clothes the cutest clothes baby clothes is cute no matter what i mean your baby's gonna be in it it's cute as long as it's comfortable as long as they have clothes i mean that's perfectly fine all right, so enough of me rambling. Let's get into the mini haul. So again, it's from JC Penney's. Um, JC Penney, their baby stuff is always on sale. I mean, they're always having like um, like fifty percent off, forty percent off. So if I ever see that it's not a sale from JC Penney, which I don't think I have, every time we go, there's been a sale. So I don't buy it unless it's on sale. And I have the receipt here, so I'll just share with y'all like the prices and stuff, because it's still like I would not buy clothes from like um what's that baby store a uh, baby gap or um oh what is that one like crazy a i walked in there one time i forgot i think somebody was having a baby shower and i walked in and i walked right out i was like that's ridiculous i'm not paying 20 30 dollars for a baby shirt which is half the size not even like a fifth of the size of a regular shirt so no so anyways yeah i only buy from jc penny if it's on a sale which usually it is and usually we get JJ's clothes from JCPenney or Walmart. I don't think we've ever bought him clothes from anywhere else except maybe Old Navy. But they don't really have a good variety of baby clothes, at least baby boy clothes. They usually have a lot of girl clothes. Um, but I mean, that's anywhere you go. The boy section is always super small. So usually JCPenney or Walmart is where we get the stuff. It's really cute, really affordable. And it's good quality that's what jj wears anyways so the first thing that we got him were some shoes because we bought jj some chanclas um but they're super casual so we just wanted to get him um something a little bit more dressed up and it's still not super dressed up but they're just not as super casual as the other ones that he has so they're just these cute chanclas they go strapped in through like there i don't know well because i was gonna do this haul um earlier today but we went out and he put he wore these everything else is brand new but he wore these so that's why they're like that um but these are from okie dokie and they are memory foam so they're super comfy especially now that jj is starting to walk um i'm working on a baby update so that should be coming out hopefully within the next week a 10 month baby update um but yeah so these are in the size 5 and we still are kind of confused about baby shoe sizes because these say 5m and then there were some other ones that said like 5C, so we're not too sure what the C and the M mean. I'm pretty sure I could Google it, but I just haven't. Um, but these are super cute. These are from Okie Dokie. I think these were $20. Okay, I thought this was going to be like helpful, but this receipt doesn't make any sense. Okay, I, I really don't know, but no, I'm pretty sure they were $20. And then we got him a pair of Converse, some baby Converse, because, you know, when he was a baby newborn, we never put him shoes. I read somewhere that it's better for them not to be in shoes just because that way they're growing like super fast so as to not restrict their like feet growth. Um, so we just always had him in like super soft, stretchy socks or barefoot because, you know, he wasn't even walking. We were just always carrying him and JJ's always been like he gets warm really quick. So we just used to have him barefoot. But now that he's like walking and he like wears cute outfits and stuff, we wanted to get him some shoes. He has some Jordans that our friends Ivan and Annalisa bought him that you saw in my um, vlog where we were having game night. So they bought him some Jordans. So he has those. He has some Vans and i forgot what else he has um but yeah he needed converse so we got him converse i don't remember i think these were 30. so next we got him just a, a bunch of um solo like tees and tanks since it is summer um i'm trying not to have i mean i still have onesies for him i have some that i bought um but now that he's older it and he squirms around a lot like when i'm changing his diaper especially out in public and those changing tables and don't even get me started on those public changing tables like yes i'm glad that they have them at least and not even every restaurant have them or public places i know my sister i've never done this 
but my sister has had to sit on the floor to change Amadeus's diaper because not everywhere has changing tables which should be against the law anyways besides the point I find it easier if he wears like a t-shirt and shorts or like a shirt and shorts as opposed to like a onesie where it snaps at the crotch um it's just easier to change his diaper that way again especially if we're out in public so um they had a bunch of these shirts on sale i believe these were 5.99 a piece uh yes so these were 5.99 a piece so we have and these are from the brand again okie dokie so this first one is so cute i saw and i was like we have to get it it says dad's hype man and um jose is like super into rap and i don't know if it's just rap or i'm pretty sure it's like all concerts there's always like a hype man that like gets the crowd like pumping and they're like come on i mean kind of like an mc um but it's just always a joke that me and jose say we're like come on you're supposed to be my hype man and we saw this and we're like oh my god that is so freaking cute so we got this one um and then this one is super cute back seat driver because obviously of course your baby should be in the back seat so these are like super simple super cute i really like this one especially since it's in the summer it's nice and fresh um a cute yellow color and then it has like palm trees sunglasses a pineapple with sunglasses so this one was super cute i liked that one and then this one has animals all over it i might even put this on JJ for his first birthday because his theme is going to be jungle animals so unless I find like another cute animal print shirt I might even just put him this one. Oh my god I didn't even think about that um but yeah so that's going to be the theme of his first birthday which is in two months I cannot believe it he's going to be a year I don't even know where the time has gone that's crazy existential crisis like you just saw that happen um this one too and now these are like little tanks for when we go swimming or to the lake or what have you zebra riding a scooter and again all of this is 12 months um so you can see here it's originally 12 dollars and we paid there were 5.99 a piece so there were six so they're like half off um and then this one is just super cute it looks like he's ready to go surfing I would so do like a lookbook or like a try on haul with JJ, but I know him and he gets so like inquieto and fastidiado. Like I know he would not have it. It would probably take me like all day like doing like, okay, let's do two. And then let's do two more like throughout the day to get this done. And I do not have the patience for that. I don't have the time for that. Okay, so the next thing we got him, Jose of course picked this out, um, is this Nike two piece so it has the shirt and then the shorts this one was a little bit more expensive i don't think this one was on sale um but because it is nike but it was super super cute and Jose really liked it and again like i said it is the summer so he does need like dry fit kind of stuff like this um this one i think is the most expensive piece we bought him besides the shoes um, this one was $30. Again, I don't think this one was on sale. We bought him just another set of pajamas. I like the ones without the feet because, again, like I said, JJ does get, like, warm. But he's like me. I'm always hot. Like, I always have to have the fan on. I always have to have the AC, like, blowing really cold. Um, and obviously, he's not to that extreme. He's a baby. But he, he, I do notice that he does get warm very easily. He can't be, like, bundled up. He can't be wearing, like, very thick, like, pajamas. Like, these are very thin and again it doesn't have the feet because obviously like you lose the most heat from like your head and your feet so if he has his feet uncovered I, he's just comfortable that way so we bought him this one and it's super cute it has a like, jellyfish wearing different hats like pirate hats and stuff when he first the first thing we noticed him growing out of was his pajamas um his nine month pajamas they like to fit him like his poor the ones that do have the feet like his poor feet were like squished in there and you can see it like going like this like it was pulling like it wasn't long enough anymore so we we're like oh, okay well he cannot wear those so that's the first thing we bought him in 12 months was the pajamas um and now we have like the rest of the clothes but i just thought i'd get him another one of these this one it says 20 this one i know for sure was on sale again i just don't know because i cannot for the life of me read this receipt Oh, pajama. It was, yeah, so it was $20. It was um, $8 and one penny off. So we paid $11.99 for that pajama, which is, I mean, from $20. Oh my God, people paid like $20 for these. It's ridiculous. So the next thing we got him was just a little outfit. I don't think these are, 
I mean, they might be pajamas. I don't think they're pajamas. I think there's just like a baby outfit. But it's this. This one is a onesie. And it says tiny and mighty. Because if y'all have seen JJ, oh, I mean, y'all have. He has like his chunky rolls. Like they look like muscles. So he just looks so cute. And then it is a two-piece. So it has the pants on the back. And it has a little dinosaur on the butt. And then it has just a bunch of different dinosaurs. And again, these are without um, feet. I really like again the pajamas and like any pants without feet because we have carpet in our living room like you can see like all the carpet which i love it's great um especially like because obviously once they walk it's not as important but once they're crawling like it's better for them because they're falling all the time and stuff for the carpet um but like if you've ever like crawled on carpet or whatever you know like it does kind of irritate your knees and stuff so i like to put him on pants when we're here at home and the ones without the feet are a lot better because he has pajamas with the feet and he like steps on them and like pulls them and they like stretch and then like he's like tripping over them if that makes sense. Um, so the ones without the feet um, just help like not so he's not tripping over like the pajamas and stuff. So I really like these and then it has a cute little thing on the butt. I like the ones too. This one doesn't have it but like the extra padding like on the knees like for when they're crawling. I like those too. He has some like that but these are not like that. And then another cute little outfit. This one is Levi's. I again I don't think this one was on sale. I was like preaching that I never buy things full price but Jose is like a bigger spender that I am. Not that he's a bigger spender but he is okay with spending a little bit more sometimes. I'm like I'm not super frugal or like such a penny pincher, but like it hurts me like to pay like a lot for something. Um, but he picked these out. He picked the Nike one out and he picked this one out and this one is cute. It's just a nice little Levi t-shirt. And look at these shorts, how freaking cute. I cannot wait to put him in this outfit. I love putting him on little outfits like this. Like he looks so cute. He looks like such a little man. And my sister gets so mad at me. He's like, she tells me, she's like, he doesn't look like a baby anymore. He looks like a little toddler. She told me just to stop putting him in outfits like this and like just put him in like onesies. Um, and when he looks like a, like more like a baby. But oh my gosh, he just grew up too fast, way too fast. But anyways, I mean, this is the clothes he needs to wear now. It's so much more comfortable. So yeah, this two-piece was $30. Another one, the same kind of style, the Levi's. But this one has a little bit of a longer short and it's khaki shorts. So you can see these ones are a little bit longer than those. But still super, super cute. I cannot wait to put these on him. And that's that outfit. And so the next two things are just some shirts that I got him as well. This one, again, is from Okie Doki. It's just a nice collar shirt. And it's just a t-shirt. And this one, $14, I'm pretty sure. The, all the Okie Doki stuff is usually on sale. The Okie Doki and the Carter stuff. So that one... It was originally twelve, and we paid five ninety nine for it. So we paid five ninety nine. And then this one is so freaking cute. I love it. It is like a little pullover. And then look, it has a shark fin on the top, and it has little teeth. And then right here, it has a little shark. This is so cute. Like I can imagine putting this on him after we go swimming like when he gets out of the water and then put him this little thing so he looks like a little shark oh this is so cute Jose picked this one out too this one is so cute this one was a little bit more this one was $22 and this that one I know for sure was on sale because like I said the okie dokie and the carters is always on sale this one is okie dokie I think yeah it's okie dokie so yeah that one was $22 and it was on sale and we paid $7.99 so it was 14 off that's a good that's a good deal so the last thing we got him um i do like to have him just like at onesies like at home and stuff or sometimes if it's a little bit warmer especially now that it's in the summer i don't put him on like the long sleeve and the pants pajamas i'll put him on just a onesie and he grew out of all his nine month onesies so i got him just these this set of baby onesies and this is from carter's and this is a set of one, two, three, four, of five onesies. I like getting the pack like this um, because if you buy them individually, um, like this one. Oh, I didn't show you the last one. Never mind, I have one more. 
um it comes out a little bit more expensive sometimes so if you i mean if you look obviously like there's different brands and there's different prices but to me what i've seen it's um, more affordable to just buy like a pack like this because how many is it gonna one two three four five and then i really like this brand like this um, the style, the fabric that they use is very, very comfortable. I JJ's never complained about anything, and they don't have the tags. Um, that's another thing. Well, a lot of baby's clothes doesn't anymore, but I like I make sure that to get him things that don't have like tags on the inside because I know that can be itchy and stuff. Um, and then like as you can see here, like it has a little like embroidery, a little patch, and on the inside it has this like thin netting over it so that way the embroidery sometimes it's a little rough you don't feel it like on the skin like it's nice and smooth like you can feel that there's like a something there but it's not rough like it's just embroidery so i really like that so i really like the carter's brand this one was 28 and i think it was on sale so let me see okay no so this one was not on sale so this one was just 28 dollars. but again this one i do um like splurging a little bit more because like i said they're really comfortable they last a long time i throw them in the wash and like i said since we don't buy him like a ton of stuff i kind of wash things often and i've never noticed them like um like disintegrating or undoing themselves or anything like that disintegrating really valerie what are you doing washing these in acid i meant fall apart so those are really good i really recommend carter's um and okie dokie like that too those are the two brands that we really get and then the last thing that we saw we were like about to leave and we saw this and we were like okay we have to get it like it was super cute and it's super funny because as y'all know or i'm pretty sure i've said it jj was not planned at all he was a very big surprise he was not in the plans for years to come but as luck would have it the story of our life came with a little plot twist and me and Jose saw this and we just thought it was super super cute especially the fact that you know he was not planned and it was just a fun way to just poke fun at that so we got him this one plot twist this one was this is from okie dokie baby again and this one was four dollars and it's super super cute um if you look for the okie dokie ones that have this black tag there have a lot that are four dollars um so you can like that's pretty cheap like especially if you're looking at like other brands and stuff or like you're buying it at a store or something <laughs> stop jose got home and he's sitting back there and he's just being stupid but yeah the ones with the four dollar ones usually have like cute like sayings they're usually like like graphic tees but like graphic onesies and we bought him one it's orange and it says gordito across the front and we just thought that was so cute because like you know like where do you see like something that says gordito and jj such a chunkers so we bought him that um that was like a nine month one i think on the last one so that is the end of the haul i'm sorry that this wasn't super exciting i feel like i say that like at the end of all my videos but it was just you know something that we did i thought i'd like to share it with you especially if you're a mom watching or if you're a mom to be i know when i was pregnant i just loved watching any and all baby related videos it just got me super excited and like ready to meet my baby so again i highly recommend um, I don't, I, I mean, you can call it thrift shopping, but I highly recommend if your, um, town or city has a, like, secondhand shop where you can buy baby clothes, I highly recommend that for the first, like, the first six months of your baby's life. I mean, obviously, you're probably gonna get clothes from your baby shower, but, um, you know, a lot of people, some people don't have baby showers or they don't have family to give them baby showers. Um, so a secondhand store is like such a great like option for you. Do not feel ashamed at all. We had no shame. We told people we were like that was 50 cents. That was a dollar. Like we were proud of it. Like we were proud to save money because a lot of times like the stress of like how expensive a baby is. But it doesn't have to be that way like i feel like sometimes like you kind of do it to yourself like you want and especially being the first child um you like want to get like the everything the best you want to research all the best baby products i want to do a video of like what i recommend buying like what i bought that i think is worth it and what you can like save your money on so i kind of want to do that video so let me know down in the comments if you would like to see that video um but yeah like wherever you can save money do it because they become expensive later on like once we stopped once he grew out of like six months i think we went back to that same second hand store 
um but it kind of ended up like being the same prices as if like the jc penny sales and like the clothes that we buy at walmart so we're like okay well now it's looking to be kind of the same and he's like going out more we're dressing him up let's just go buy like new clothes you know oh so, yeah i don't know what else to say i always feel like at the end i just start rambling so i'm just gonna cut it here so thank you so much for watching you guys i really appreciate all your support if you do want to support a little bit more you can go ahead and click that like button leave a comment down below about what you liked in this video what you would like to see in the future also coldest water bottle that is still going on i will put the link in the description that's always going to be in the description box so if you ever if i don't ever say it it's always going to be there so you can go ahead and click that and then if you want to support my channel you can uh, purchase something on the coldest water website and then that helps me and that way i can keep working on my videos and um you know hopefully produce better quality videos for you guys in the future i do have other videos if you want to go check those out and i will be posting videos in the future so if you don't want to miss those you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button also the little notification bell that way it does alert you when i do post because i know sometimes youtube doesn't always put subscriptions in the subscription box so the little notification bell just ensures that you won't miss another video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye <laughs>